Basic Trading Concepts Technical analysis involves the uses of charts as a tool to identify patterns or trends in a currency market. It focuses on the effects of market movements rather than the causes. Technical analysis will look at a currency's past price to determine what might happen in the future. Some examples of technical analysis include support and resistance, Fibonacci retracements, or using some of the various indicators that are offered in MetaTrader 4. Technical analysis is more of a short-term mathematical approach to the market by taking a look at what has happened in the past on the charts alone in an effort to predict future trends in price movements. Support and resistance are a very strong basis for a lot of technical analysis and should be considered when looking at a chart. Support is a specific price level at which a currency will have the inability to cross below. Support is seen in downtrending markets when there is a price level established. A good analogy for support is like a floor. The price level can bounce up and down on the floor and one of two things is going to happen. As the price approaches support, you will either get a bounce off the floor and go back up, or you will break right through the floor and continue in a downward direction. Normally, when support is broken, the old support level becomes new resistance for further price movement. Resistance is a specific price level at which a currency will have the inability to cross above. Resistance is formed in uptrending markets and a ceiling is established. The price level is going to either bounce off the ceiling and knock itself down, or break up through the ceiling and continue upward. When resistance is broken, the old resistance level becomes new support. Support and resistance levels don't have to be to the exact pip. Usually it will be within 5 to 10 pips. There are occasional and fascinating instances when a level will hold to the exact pip over long periods of time. With both support and resistance, the longer the time frame on the chart, the stronger the level is. For example, if a price hits a certain level establishing support or resistance on a one minute chart over the course of a few hours, that will not be as significant as if you have a price form support and resistance levels on a four hour chart over the course of a few months. People that trade with support and resistance lines will either trade a bounce off support, trade when support or resistance is broken, or use them to confirm another trading strategy. Fundamental analysis studies the causes of market movements. It is the study of the news for information on political climate, international relations, natural disasters, and other worldly events in order to determine what might be coming up in the trading arena. Fundamental factors that many traders use when deciding whether to stay with a trade or sell, besides those already mentioned, include unemployment rates, inflation, fiscal policy changes, and stocks, bonds, and money markets. For example, if the Bank of Japan decides to raise or lower interest rates in Japan, fundamental analysts will keep a close eye on the impending changes in the value of Japanese currency to determine when to buy or sell. One question you may be asking yourself is which one of these is better, fundamental or technical analysis? Most times, this is a personal preference on how you prefer to study or look at the market. However, Many traders use a combination of both fundamental and technical analysis to attain the best picture of the market. This will give them an overall view on what is going on in a particular currency pair as well as the currency's economic outlook.